Hey guys, Target Recycle and FPV uh, again, and we are going to now do our second frame. Just got done doing one earlier, but I guess if you're not watching this on the same day, then you'd wonder what I'm talking about. So we're going to do another frame assembly, okay? And this one is going to be for the TCMM, the AC220. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, actually, I just started opening it and realized that you guys can't even see it yet. So let me go ahead and do this screen. Here we go. Okay. So in this one, uh, let's see. Let me get everything sorted out here. It's going to be very much like the last one we did if you watch the last one if not you'll see what i'm talking about so we've got our landing foam pads we've got our standoffs uh we've got our mounts here and our more standoffs and we've got our plates right here and like i said in the last uh build uh the um i've never built these before these are the first time we're getting them so i'm building them with you there's no manuals here uh, so I'm going to check these out on my own and then put the video so you guys can build along. I do know it's just probably a little piece there to sand. All right. Anyway, so let's get going and try to figure out how this is going to lay out. Okay. <laughs> this will be on the bottom. Most likely like that. That would follow in line with what this company has been doing. Uh, we've got our mounts. So this is going to be like this. So we know the front is over here because we've got our mounts and we've got our battery pads and stuff. I'm wondering if this is... And I guess that's where they put that. Okay, so let's get started by getting these uh, arms ready. And let's get our screws out here, see what size screws we're working with. We'll put our pads over here. Put this pad over there. Up our first set of screws out right here. Let's get rid of the trash. Okay. The foam pads there, and then we've got our standoffs here that we can use when we put our flight control on. So we we'll just put those in here. I love this soldering mat, man. It gives you a ton of space just to keep things organized at the very least, which is very helpful. And don't forget, guys, we've got these on sale on the website right now. All right, so the, my guess is that it's going to go pretty simple. Uh, since this is the front, let's just go ahead and get started. And now let's look at the screws that we've got. They're usually going to give us three different size screws. So we're going to check and see if that's consistent. Okay, so we've got the long ones. We're going to have most likely eight of those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there's a couple more. Nine and ten. Then we have these smaller screws. All right. And that's probably going to wrap it up. For, so we're going to use the larger screws here for the arm. Well, let's go ahead and... One. Sorry, I'm just looking at something here. Here we go. Okay. Do the second one. Now, like I said, guys, because I haven't built these either, we're all going to kind of see what they look like for the first time because there's no manual with these. Um, all right, so now I'm going to assume that this standoff will go right here. I'm hope. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. I got to put the plate on first. My bad. All right. Let's put the plate on. Okay, now for the outside, uh, for the inside here, we're going to use the standoff because that's going to be for a 30 30 board. Then for the outside, I think what we'll do is we'll just come around. Oh no, because we've got to use our one, two, three, four. So we'll just come around. Yeah. We'll put this like we did the last one, put it on the bottom. Now remember, guys, you're just finger tightening these, okay? Because you've got to come back and make sure everything fits properly. No sense in doing all that wrong. Now, um, and just to be sure. I think that looks, we'll see, it should be okay. The question I have is whether or not this piece will go on the bottom or the top. So here's the way to find out, right? It's pretty simple actually. So you take your standoffs. This is what you do when you get a board with no instructions, okay? So take your standoffs and, and mount one of them. Knowing that you've got camera side mounts, and I'm kind of deviating from our build here, but I have this thing feeling that this camera mount goes right here, okay? I mean, sorry, this standoff, goes right here. So let me go ahead and get that. Holy moly, you can't see anything. Let me go get that screwed in. All right. Okay, now, get that in there, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this camera, mount right here, and put it on. As long as they're the same height, I know that I've got it right, right? Because this is gonna come over here, and sit on, it's gonna sit on that. And if it doesn't latch in there, then if it's too long, then this should have gone on the bottom. That board will go on the top. It should make sense to you though. You'll, you'll know when you try to put it together 
if you've got it upside down with the um, with the uh, arms or not. Now I'm going to go ahead and just finish this part out because I'm already here on it. So let's just go ahead and well, for these ones, obviously we're going to use the short screws. You're only going through two millimeters, which I do need to get a measurement on real quick. So as soon as I get done with the screws, I'll go ahead and do a measurement as well. Let's stand up. Okay, so now let's get some measurements with the calipers, right? So we've got the Mutatoyo, uh, sorry, the Mutatoyo, my favorite calipers here. All right, so we've got, I, I, I think it's safe to say the bottom top plates are gonna be about two millimeters. And then same, uh, let me see, oh, that's actually thinner. Uh, hold on a second, let me check again. Yeah, that shows two, which is what I was going for, but okay, so bottom plate is going to be about two, top plate is going to be about 1.5, 1.6, and then arms are going to be about six millimeters thick. That's pretty thick, uh, and then top plate here will be, it looks like it's thick like two, okay. So you've got like two, 1.5, let's say, two, and then six on there. So you're set. All right, so let's get going and put this in. All my phones and everything are going off right now. I posted some frames earlier. I think people are excited and want to get them. But right now it's tugged doing a video, so they're gonna have to wait just a little bit. I want to get this part on though because I want to. I really don't see much else going on with these, so let me just go with it. At least try to get these on. So we got something to look at here that's starting to come together. All right, so there we go. And I'm not gonna tighten the arm, obviously, but I'm gonna to go to the next one. We're gonna keep going. We'll be done here in no time. So good. Got two more arms to go. Now I'm just gonna finger tighten those, right? I mean, I'm not gonna crank down on it right now. There's no need to. And then let's get this inside here. All right. This is another solid frame, I'll tell you that. The sucker can tell, you can already tell. If you're holding on to it like I am right now and you're trying to get this arm stuff done, everything else, you can really feel that it's a solid. Um, parts aren't moving all over the place. The way they've cut these seems to be pretty accurate. So, so far I'm very pleased with what I'm seeing. It's the three frames I've built. Now the first one I did not build uh, recorded, so I'm gonna go back and do it again. These two are pretty awesome. All right, so that's one, two. Let's put another one here. There we go. Let's go ahead and tighten this up. Okay, 
There you go. Looks so far. Looks like we got it. It's pretty solid. It's very solid. Uh, the only thing I wouldn't do is probably put the plastic here or the nylon here. I'd probably, um, if there's a base to print for it, to lift, to raise it a little bit, I'd do that. Um, but let me go, because I don't know, those nylons on flexing, they'll snap or they'll come off, and I would hate to see that happen. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got one. Get everything set up here. That sucker is tight. All right, guys, so there you go. And again, like with the rest of them, you get your, uh, your, your pads and stuff here. So let me go ahead and show you what that's like. Okay, so here is the lipo, uh, the bottom piece for the lipo. Let me put the pads on. This is what you're going to land on. So put one. Let's put the other one here. Okay, pretty standard so far. And then, let's see, I still have a piece of this left. Here it is. Okay, so like we did in the last video, and if you didn't see it, no problem. We're going to put a little, uh, little piece of something here just to kind of make room for some other activity. So there we go. Here we go. All right, so this is going to hold. So now, we'll just, let me just trim these corners out. Look at that, perfect. Okay, so that's gonna hold right there. And we've got a battery here, and then we've got a um, strap here. Now the strap does not come with this, uh, but if I've got some extras, I'm definitely gonna include them, so please understand that. All right. The only difference now is that you can run this pass through, just like this. Hold on, I forgot I needed to put this on here. My apologies. There you go. Okay. Let me move this real quickly. I want this, I guess, to I think this is going to work. I hope. It gives me a little bit of slack. It might. No. I don't like any of that. That's what I get for trying to incorporate all the pieces to it. So, let's try this again. There's the back. This is the plate. We're gonna feed this through. All right, there we go. Okay, so there it is. Awesome frame, very strong. Extremely strong frame. I'm very happy with this frame as well. Oh, I forgot one screw to put in here. My bad. I apologize. And now we're going to go ahead and take a full weight on this. Okay. So there it is. Okay. I mean, if you guys can see that. All right. Now, let's get the total weight.
Okay, it's supposed to be a, a 50. Uh, let me zero this back out. It's supposed to be a 50 gram uh, weight. There it is. Okay, so 50 is good. So I can tell you that, let's take this 3S out here because nobody's going to be using that anyway. Let's take that out. And I will tell you that I'm looking at about 110. Oh, you can't see that. Gosh darn it. I'm looking at about 110, 111 uh, uh, grams. Okay? And so there that is. That is the. Uh, AC220, TCMM AC220, you can find it on our website. Uh, and that's good to go. All right, guys. Sorry, I know it took me a little while to get that one done. I think I'm just getting tired, but uh, I'll continue the rest tomorrow. Anyways, be safe. God bless. Please, as always, if you have any questions, email me at targetcyclonfv.com. Make sure to follow us on Facebook. Make sure to subscribe to us, please. All these little things help. And uh, that's it. I will see you guys soon. Go give your loved ones a hug and have a very, very, very Merry Christmas. All right, guys. See ya. Bye. Thank you.